Let's discuss what ASP.NET Dynamic Data is and what it can offer us as developers. And really what we're after here is productivity gains. And you'll see that it really delivers on that for certain types of applications. So if you ask the question, what is ASP.NET Dynamic Data? Really what it is is a way to create a data-driven application, but without having to write really any code at all to get started. Now you can certainly go in and tweak things, and you probably will, but out of the box, you can get a website up and running that hits a database with many different types of tables in it and have full support for inserts, updates, deletes, uh, of course, selecting data, and even filtering data. It's fully customizable, so once this website is generated from a template, you can go in and change things to make it so fields show differently. For instance, you might have a date field and you'd like to show a date picker. That's possible. So you can use Link to SQL or Entity Framework as your data model to communicate between the website and the actual database. Now if you've ever needed to create a database maintenance screen, this is a huge boon to productivity. Uh, oftentimes, going back to the old days, I would have to create some screens for different clients to allow them to update uh, lookup tables, update the main tables that hold some of their core data, and perform other types of data activities. We didn't want them going in to SQL Management Studio or earlier it was called uh, Enterprise Manager. So what Dynamic Data allows is you can create a website that will automatically have full support for CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete. An example of that is shown here. Here's an example of displaying the products table and you'll notice that I can actually drill down and filter by product category, by product model, and then once I get those I have built-in support for paging, I can insert new items, and of course I can edit an item, delete it, or even drill down and get more details about that particular row of data. So it provides a really simple approach to generating automatically data-driven websites. Now some of the key features are the validation that you might have defined in a database such as certain fields are required, they have a certain length, things of that nature can be constrained and whatever the data model that you use, whether it's Entity Framework or Link to SQL has, that's what the dynamic data website will use as well for validation. So it's very easy to get it set up. It's also very easy to go in and change the markup for different fields that might appear. So you may have, as I mentioned earlier, a date time field and instead of just giving the user a text box, you can go in and modify a particular file, which I'll show you at the end of this module, to, for instance, show a date picker. Makes it much easier and less susceptible to errors. It does have support for many-to-many -many relationships if your database and your entity model supports that and Entity Framework does that quite well. And it does support field templates as I mentioned such as date time and custom attributes and validation attributes. So you could say this field is required, this has a string length, you could even use regular expressions to match on patterns if you'd like. And then finally it does support data filtering, which makes it really nice so that if there are a lot of rows, a user can easily drill down and find the data that they'd like to look into. Now all of this works based on a concept called scaffolding. And so ASP.NET Dynamic Data will generate pages that can automatically read the metadata from a given table in a database, and it does this again through Link to SQL or Entity Framework and then automatically generate all the different pieces you would need to perform the edits of that data. And as I mentioned, that includes the CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete, so that you don't have to drag on a grid view control or a details view control to actually perform the edits. That's all built into the scaffolding process, and you'll see that in the next section where we actually go in and create a dynamic data project. Now scaffolding really is just a bunch of templates. You have page templates, entity specific templates for objects, field level templates, and even uh, templates that are specific to filtering. So that's the type of thing Dynamic Data offers and where for me it's extremely productive is we work with a lot of clients and the different databases we use need admin screens. 
So one of the more simple uses of dynamic data websites are what I mentioned earlier. We can very easily create maintenance screens for our databases, which is very nice. Now you can even do much more than that though, but we'll focus on that type of activity in this particular module.